So like, yeah, I had a brief interruption. But like I was saying, you know, that <clears throat> that city, it's it's a dangerous path set before it, you know, to get to the kingdom of heaven, it was never it was never meant to be a, a free a free ride, so to speak. I mean an easy ride. You know, it's um it's a path of difficulty to get to the kingdom of heaven. You know, we go through we go through a lot of things as men that serve Yahweh Shem Shai. We go through it for the kingdom of heaven, though. That's why, uh, what did the scriptures say, man? That we will be baptized, you know, uh, uh, by, by the Holy Spirit, man. All right. Uh, what else did it say? There was a scripture I was thinking about. It slipped my mind. But essentially, oh, uh, uh, in Zechariah, Zechariah, the 13th chapter, it was said that that uh, uh, the chosen of the Lord, what he would uh, bring them to, uh, he will refine them as, as, as gold is refined and as silver is refined, right? We'd be put through the fire. All right, that's not something light. That's something uh, um, that's very much so heavy. That's not, you know, we got to go through the fire and it, and it gets fiery, man. You know, the scriptures say, Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you as though some strange thing happened unto you. Because that's how the trials be. You be thinking, don't think it's strange, but it be that fiery sometimes. You know what I mean? So let me get to Ephesians the sixth chapter so I can read it and uh, I'll close out. You know, let me get to there. Ephesians chapter 6 and 10. It says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. And I always like to start off with that first precept because we're being strong in the Lord and in the power of his might, not our own might. All right? We don't have power. All right? Our power comes from Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, the, the power that he has given us. Our power is calling upon our power. You know, that's what made Israel so special. Because these other nations round about us, you know, in history, when you read history, the nations that were round about us, what separated us from them is that we had a power to call upon that actually performed miracles, great deliverances, and he displayed great power, all right? The power we serve flooded the earth with water, and people like to think it's a fairy tale, but it's not, you know, the power we serve uh, 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 stop the sun from moving for a, a certain amount of time so that we would continue fighting, right? The power we serve, man, turn a man into a beast. You know, the power we serve makes the sun go up and down. You know, the power we serve makes it rain and causes droughts, you know? The power we serve put his spirit back in his men to teach his word. You see, that's the power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, and we are strong because we have access to call upon Him, and we are His servants, and He has love for us and loves us. You see, it says, "Put on the whole armor of the Most High, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil." The wiles is the methodia of Satan, the tricks, the trickery, the cunning arts, the craft. All right. What are the different tricks? The demons in your head telling you crazy shit, telling you weird things, you know? The demons trying to trying to put you into wayward doctrines and weird things like that. The demons that give you false breakdowns, you know? The demons that that tell you you're not a man of the Lord. Uh, uh, the financial demon, because everything is just an evil spirit, all right? The, the common cold, the flu, you know? Fevers and shit. COVID, so to speak, right? C-19 or whatever, you know? But those are the wiles of Satan, all right? Uh, your demon coming at your woman coming at you funny for whatever reason, for no reason at all. You know, your boss all of a sudden is being an asshole. You know, these are the wiles of the devil, okay? And how do we stand against it? We put on the whole armor of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh and we stand strong in his might and we stand stand firm. The scriptures speak about those that stood firm, that stood stiffly for the name of the Lord. That's us, man. That's not only on the highways and byways, but even within our daily life. All right? Because being Israelite ain't just on Saturday afternoons, man. We, hey, us here, uh, Great Millstone Man, uh, the Sincere Brother Man, we're Israelites in, when we're at camp and when we're not at camp. We're Israelites all the time. You know, these are the camps that they wear fringes to work. I don't wear fringes to work, but I carry myself differently according to how the Lord would want me to carry myself. You see, to the best of my ability, you know. And every brother can attest to that, man. It says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. And that's the warfare, man. We don't, we're not here to be 
uh, mighty men physically. We're here to be mighty men in the spirit, man. The house of David is being built up again. We we men that we, we don't take no shit, man. All right, we um uh, we us uh, and, and, and I'm speaking in the spirit, man. All right, scripturally. All right, we don't we're not here for the shenanigans, man. We we uh we know that we're in a warfare, man. We um you know we we're in the spirit. All right, we're discerning, we're judging, we're doing the right things, we're using wisdom. All right. It says, uh, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Right. As men who love righteousness. All right. And know that we won't, don't want to abide in these in this flesh anymore. We see wickedness all around us, man. That, that stuff is vexing, man. It, it, it hurts you. Right. But now we overcome it through the Lord. Right. The spiritual wickedness in high places, yeah. These the uh, the elites and such, man. You know, putting out wickedness. All right, that um, biological warfare, man. We're gonna be able to overcome those things, man. When they start actually releasing real crazy diseases and wild things, is gonna start happening out here, man. We're gonna be safe, man. All right. Verse thirteen. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of the Most High, that that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. All right, right, and that, how do we put on the armor, man? We we read the scriptures, we read this, we get these scriptures within us, man. Meaning, we read it and learn from it and get the understanding from it. Once you get the understanding, it's getting the substance out of something. You get the gist of it. You can now profit from it when you have substance. How do you profit from the scriptures when you know what wisdom is and know how to and know how to apply the knowledge? You now have wisdom. That's a substance right there. All right, that's a rich. That's a, that's riches unto you, man. Wisdom is better than rubies. Okay, the scriptures say that riches don't profit in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivereth from death. You doing the right things is going to deliver you from death. You see, stand therefore having your loins girt about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Here's the point above all, taking the shield of faith wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Right. The shield of faith. Well, what do we have faith in? Yahweh and ba Yahweh ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, right? That's that's where that's our shield, man. That's our everything. You know, our faith. When we have nothing else, we cleave unto the names of the Lord, man. All right, we cleave unto the name of Yahweh ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Okay, and that's the point, man. Remember the warfare. What's the war, man? The war is spiritually, man. All right, our spirit, our spirit, man. We're we're. Well, our spirits are being built up at the end of it all. You know, the scriptures say, you know, the outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. Every single day we are growing in spirit, but yet our flesh is getting weaker, but our spirits are getting stronger. I made a lesson on that, you know, a while back. You know, I believe uh, around uh, last October, if I'm not mistaken. But nonetheless, man, hey, uh, the inward man is being renewed. That's our, that's our spirit, man, our righteous spirits. They're being renewed. And we have to remember that warfare, because through that warfare is how our spirits are getting stronger. All right. So with that, I want to give all praises going on to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem I want to give double honors to my elders and apostles of Great Millstone, which are the men that rule well, men who taught us this truth, and as always, peace, blessings, and salutations to the elect. All right, and uh, shalom.